Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss gradient and how to find the equation of a straight line in analytical geometry. Equation of a straight line when two points are given. Example 1. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the points K320 and L528. And then there's your steps. So first of all, we start with the gradient formula. The gradient KL is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Then you write down your two coordinates that you're going to substitute. And my advice to you is on top of your coordinate, you write there X2, Y2, X1, Y1. That is going to help you when you substitute. Therefore, in y's two, y2's place, you substitute 20 minus 28 over 3 minus 5. And then on the numerator, 20 minus 28 is negative 8 over 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And when you simplify that, you find the gradient of KL is equal to plus 4. Then into your straight line formula. Now you will see that I prefer using this formula. Y is mx plus c. Therefore, in m's place, I substitute the coordinate. And then the other coordinate is the point 320, consisting of a x and a y. You can substitute either of the two coordinates. It really doesn't matter. In y's place, I substitute at 20. In x's place, I substitute at 3. Therefore, 20 is equal to 4 times 3 plus c. And now I'm going to solve c. 4 times 3 is 12. Now, let the 12 go across. It becomes negative 12. 20 minus 12 is 8 is equal to c. Therefore, c's value is 8. And the equation y is equal to 4x plus 8. Example 2. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the points L, negative 2, negative 1 and M, 4, 3. Give your answer in the form and then I give you that form and all I want is everything on the left hand side equal to 0. Again, there's your steps. Step 1. We write down the gradient formula. The gradient MLM and then equals to the gradient formula. There's your two coordinates. Above your coordinate, you write x2, y2, x1, y1. This is going to help you tremendously when you substitute. So now, into y, y2's place, negative 1 minus 3. Remember, in fact, it's a bracket minus and then 3 over negative 2 minus bracket 4. And then you solve. Minus 1 minus 3 is negative 4 over minus 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And then your gradient is 2 over 3. Into your equation of a straight line, y is mx plus c. In m's place, we substitute the value we just calculated, 2 over 3. And then the coordinate that we're going to use to substitute here is the point 4, 3. Uh, you can use either of the two. I, I prefer the positive ones. And then this coordinate consists of an x and a y. In y's place, I substitute 3. In x's place, I substitute 4. Then... This will become, let me just show you here, 3 is equal to 8 over 3 plus C. And then 3 minus 8 over 3 equals C. And then 3 minus 8 over 3 is equal to a third. That's C's value. Therefore, there's your equation. Y is equal to 2 over 3X plus a third. But remember, they wanted it in this other form where I'm just going to erase this quickly to make some space for us. They want it in the form everything on the one side equal to zero. So now we're going to multiply every single term 
by 3 so that the 3's can cancel out and then I'm left with 3y is equal to 2x plus 1 and they will all walk across and it becomes 3y minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Example 3. Does the point negative 1, 2 lie on the line? And then I give you the line's equation. Now when we want to find out whether a point lies on a line or not, what we do is we're going to substitute the point consisting of a x and a y into the equation. But we will only substitute into the left hand side and then we will get an answer. And then if your answer on the left hand side is equal to the answer on the right hand side, then yes, the point lies on the line. So we can start with on the left hand side. In the purple block, there's your steps. So then back to the sum on the left hand side. Now we're going to substitute the point. In y's place, we substitute, let me show you, x, y. In y's place, we substitute 2. In x's place, we substitute negative 1. Then, we can say 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 plus 2. And when we add everything, we get 12. So the left hand side is 12, the right hand side is 0. They are not equal, therefore the point does not lie on the line. Example 4. Calculate the value of k if the gradient of the straight line joining the points R, k, negative 6 and s, 2, negative 3 is equal to a half. Now, how this sum differ from the others is that now the gradient is given. Usually, we ask the gradient. And the other problem is that on your point, one of your points, the, there's a missing coordinate. So the x coordinate at r is now a variable, k. There's your steps. So the first thing you're going to do is into the gradient formula, you're going to substitute the given values. Again, there's your point R, K, negative 6. So my advice to you is, right there on top of your coordinate, that this is X of R, this is Y of R. This is X of S, this is Y of S. And now we can substitute. So into the gradient, the given gradient was a half. And then y of r minus 6 minus bracket the y of s negative 3 over. And then the x of r is k. That's the variable you want. Minus x of s 2. Then we will multiply in this minus. A minus times a minus is a plus, And we end with negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Now, there's a fraction and there's a denominator. And we want to get rid of the denominator. Therefore, we will find the LCD. And then the LCD will be 2 bracket k minus 2. What do we do with the calculus? with the uh, denominator with the LCD is we multiply every term by the LCD. So therefore there's 2 bracket k minus 2. On the left the 2 and the 2 will cancel and you're left with 1 times k minus 2 which is k minus 2 and on the right the k minus 2 the whole bracket will cancel with the whole bracket and you left with negative 3 times 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 in the next step. And now the negative 2 will walk across. It becomes positive 2. And then negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Therefore, the x coordinate there at k, the answer is negative 4. In the next video, I will teach you 
what is a perpendicular bisector. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.